Crystal, the emergency room continues to see a low number of patients. As for the critical care unit, well, right now they're at 83%. The hospital tells me if this uptick in COVID-19 cases continues, they're going to have to designate more beds to the critical care unit. Midland Memorial Hospital knows all too well there's been a spike in COVID-19 cases in Midland County this week. From 3 to 20 in a week is a, is a pretty uh, alarming growth rate. Most of the COVID-19 patients the hospital's seen have been under the age of 60. The majority of those are, are skewing younger. They're, they're not as likely to be in critical care. That critical care unit has 24 beds, and right now six of those beds are occupied by COVID-19 patients. Meyer says if need be, the hospital has a plan that would allow 36 more beds to be added to the critical care unit. The only problem with adding more beds, there's not enough staff to go around. Uh, that'll be very, very difficult. We don't have that many surplus critical care nurses and respiratory therapists uh, to suddenly expand to 60 beds. So we would be scrambling to find staff uh, to add that number of beds. But the physical space certainly is, is, is available. The hospital says reaching that capacity in the critical care unit is fairly common. What's not common? Having six patients with a highly contagious virus that they anticipate will spread more throughout the community in the upcoming weeks.